All right. Well, I think it's about time for us to be able to have uh, our children to be able to come. I'm so excited. Kelly, are you going to come at this time? And uh, we are going to um, share a video. But before we do, I just want to thank the Lord for, for Ashley and uh, Betty and, and their hearts to uh, start up Kingdom Kids Junior yes, again. We just uh, give God praise. Thank the Lord for Rhonda and Greg and Katie and Amanda and Mike and Pam. When I hear you didn't know that, did you, Mike? And, and whoever else, you know, it's <laughs> it, whoever else is uh, on this uh, ministry team. But uh, we're so grateful and thankful that, uh, hey, they just came together. And so now they're ready uh, to be able to uh, sing and minister. We had an incredible time Friday night, you know, with the preschool and, and the kids uh, they had stage fright, uh, many of them, and uh, as I've said many times, uh, the number one fear, so they say, is public speaking or getting in front of uh, people. But we want to start them young, amen? amen. That uh, as time goes on, they're going to be like Natalie. Uh, she just hey, she's just out here and she's a ham, ain't she? But anyway, we just thank the Lord for God's goodness and grace and. Uh, I just pray that God would just pour out his spirit upon you and these children and those that are ministering to the children. And so are we ready, Diane? Are we ready, Kelly? We're ready to go? Okay. Are we ready? Might want to turn the lights on. Teenage girl, much too young. Unprepared for what's to come, a baby changes everything. Not a ring on her head, all her dreams and all her plans, a baby changes everything.
video too because it's so true because a baby does change everything children are a gift Amen. and that, I, that just gets me because it took me so long to have my little one it took me over 14 years so they are a true gift and I can't wait for them to come this morning to share with you they're excited we're excited so let's get excited be a kid today shake off those worries I'm a dancing Christmas tree, I'm a dancing Christmas tree, I'm a dancing Christmas tree, everybody dance with me. Shake your head, kick your leg, wave your arm, jump up and down, turn around, jump up and down, turn around, I'm a dancing Christmas tree, I'm a dancing. Christmas tree, I'm a dancing. Christmas tree, everybody dance with me. Shake your head, kick your leg, wave your arm. Jump up and down, turn around, jump up and down, turn around. I'm a dancing. Christmas tree, I'm a dancing. Christmas tree, I'm a dancing. Christmas tree, everybody dance with me. Everybody dance with me. Everybody dance with me.
the donkey breaks.
candy around to make the letter go upside down. It looks like a staff that the shepherds used. They were the first to hear the good news. So what does it look like now? I got candy cane. Candy cane, but what does it shape like now? <laughs> the shepherd's staff. The shepherd's staff. Very good. As the shepherds were watching their sheep that night, the sky was filled with heavenly light. Angels appeared and started to sing, Glory to God for our newborn King. And there in the town where Jesus was born, the shepherds found him all cozy and warm. Their hearts were filled with wonder and joy as they knelt beside the baby boy. So who are, who are, who's that? Jesus' dad, what's his name? It's Mary. Joseph. That's right, we've got Mary, and who's beside Mary? Joseph. Joseph, very good. And who's the baby? Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus, very good. I added the stripes to remember the day that Jesus watched, washed all our sins away. He died on the cross, his blood was shed, that's why the stripes are bold and red. That's right, red and white. Very good. The red, the white on the candy is there to show that when we're forgiven, we're white as the snow. Jesus was born to save us from sin, to make us holy and clean within. That's why we have the white on there. He washes our sin as white as snow. That's right, we put it upside down and it makes a what? Yeah. White as snow. I love snow, don't it, Everett? <laughs> I wanted to share this story with you so Jesus can be your Savior too. Please tell this story to everyone and give thanks to God for the gift of His Son. That's right, so that's why we celebrate Christmas, right? Who is the greatest gift? a little candy cane song. It doesn't have any music. So. teachers and all of the ministers and uh, those who are really um, loving on our kids. Can we put our hands together and just give God praise for that? Amen, amen, amen. And um, 
Jalen, would you tell Kelly to come here? And uh, I would love to be able to have Kelly and Madison. I want you to come up here also. We've been practicing this all week and stuff. And so I'm going to ask Madison to come up here. There's a couple of things that we want to share at this time. You know, um, we are just very excited about New Beginnings Preschool. And so we had it Friday night. Their hands was full of the kids, and we weren't able really to do this or acknowledge uh, what uh, you guys have been done. But this young lady, you know, she was working at Faith Baptist, and God put it in her heart that she needed to come to New Hope Worship Center and uh, begin the New Beginnings Preschool. And so I just want to give God praise for her. Her mind goes about 90 mile an hour. When I'm asking a question, she already sees it four paces ahead of me, already has the answer. But the passion that she has for the kids, the desire that she has for their education, number one, that they are able to uh, grow at a young age. And I want to continue to encourage you, if you know of a ch young child that needs to be a part of uh, New Beginnings Preschool, I want to encourage you to uh, invite them to come. And uh, we just see the growth and the development. And uh, I'm here each week, not as long as they are, but yet they're here, they're excited. The kids, believe it or not, very little crying. Isn't that amazing? Very little crime. And I see the involvement and the uh, participation. You know, Emma, she is uh, our, our little sweet little girl up here. And many times uh, she is kind of like, like this. But I see her during the week. She's not like that. She's going and going. And, and then I shared Friday night that the kids... When they were practicing, I mean, they're wide open, but you get up here in front of kids, you know, and little Ellie Ray, she just stands and looks pretty, like all of the rest of them and everything. But anyway, it's just such a, a blessing to be able to have you, Madison, and we want to present you with this, and thank you for what you're doing, your heart, your prayer, your desires, and lots of decisions. She's our director. She's the boss. And, you know, the buck stops here, right? <laughs> but, but anyway, we just want to thank you, Madison. And can we put our hands together and thank the Lord? And then this lady, Kelly, we just want to thank you. You've been the, her awesome assistant and support. Right-hand woman, right? Yes. And uh, let's, right? let's get it right this okay. same time. But anyway, <laughs> just kidding. But uh, Kelly, we do. We thank you. You've been here and, 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 and how you've just jumped in there here in the, just a little while and, and uh, being able to minister to the kids. But we just love Kelly and uh, we just thank the Lord for you. And there's another lady, uh, June, that was here Friday night. She doesn't attend our church, but we're so grateful for her. She's a wonderful Bible teacher and she does an awesome job. And then Simona is your helper also. And so they're here and we just thank the Lord for what God is doing and what he wants to continue to do. So one more time, can we just thank the Lord for these ladies and thank you. And thank you. You. And you can wear bells on your feet anytime you want. Okay. We just think it's, it's so awesome. But we just thank the Lord that we are able to see what God is doing. And as we see uh, the children, and we talk about the children and what a blessing it is to be able to see the children. And there's such an attack on our family unit yeah. this day and time. Are you with me? Yes. And so I believe that we need to ask God to guide us and direct us to be able to minister to the children. Can we say amen? amen? And when God put it in our hearts to be able to minister to the children, it's what God wants to do. And so we want them to come and be able to know Jesus. And uh, so, and our narrators, uh, Adriana, I don't know if you're in here. There she is. Great job narrating. Amen. amen. Yes. And my little granddaughter, you know, Sarah Jane was a great narrator. But uh, we just thank the Lord for what God is doing. And I want to continue to see us to be able to see the little ones look up to the older ones. And then when they grow, look up to the next ones. 
And when they grow, look up to the next ones that we're all following Jesus. Amen. Yeah. How many of you believe that there's such thing as a positive influence? Yeah. And so that we can influence one another and enjoy Jesus together, helping one another to be able to grow in their relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So if we can continue to pray and say, God, help us, guide us, direct us in the way that you want us to go. I know last night, I think Leneva and Ronnie had the teens out and they had a bonfire and nobody got burnt or blew up or anything, <laughs> but they had a good time and Leneva comes this morning smiling. And, and so I just wanna thank the Lord for every person that is ministering to the children. And we just give God praise for what he is doing, but we need to constantly pray. I want to just a minute talk about, obviously after the Lord Jesus Christ was born and now it's Christmas time and we're thinking about the birth of our savior, amen? The birth of our savior. You know, John three sixteen. for God so loved the world that he gave, right? He gave his only begotten son. That what? That whosoever believeth in him shall never perish, but have everlasting life. That God gave, God gave us his son. He gave us the best. God gave us himself, himself incarnate. God in man. In other words, he's all God and he's all man. And we're so grateful that he came to save us. Aren't you glad that he was born to save us? He was born in a manger because he would be the Lamb of God, which would take away the sin of the world. Today, we have hope. Today, we have purpose. Today, we have joy because our name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life because this little baby came to seek and to save that which was lost. And that was me one day. And that was you one day that he came and he moved upon your life through the power of his spirit and you decided and I decided to yield to that Holy Spirit conviction. Aren't you glad that he convicted us of our sin? Aren't you glad that he continues to convict us of our sin? Yes. But the joy that comes when we know that we are able to be forgiven and cleansed and washed by the wonderful name of Jesus, the name above every name, this gift that God has given you and I is greater. It's the greatest gift that you can ever imagine. And not only does he save, but he heals. How many of you know that he heals wounds and hurts and past? How many of you know he doesn't hold grudges, but he wraps his arms around you and he says, listen, come and I will, I will pour oil of joy, you know, into those wounds. How many of you know God knows how to heal the wounds through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, through the ministering power of the Holy Spirit? See, Jesus, the, the greatest gift that you and I could ever receive. Can we say amen? That he heals us and now he takes away our past. Aren't you glad that he is able to remove our sin as far as the east is from the west? He said never to remember him anymore. Aren't you glad that he is able to heal and, and minister to our hearts and minds? And, oh, hallelujah. Yes, we need, to, we need to give him praise and glory and honor. You know what Jesus does for us? How many of you know he's a wonderful father? He is a wonderful father that he has come and we are his children. You know, and, and, and so many times we are brought up in families and where the, 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 the family unit is destroyed for whatever reason. So many families, the father is non-existent. So many times mom is raised and the children by themselves. And, you know, and, and oh my gosh. And you see that, you know, I believe with all of my heart, a lot of the stuff that you're seeing in our nation, the burning of cities and the destruction of property and, and all of the things that has happened. It's because, you know, the 
breakdown of the family unit. And I believe that the Father needs to give guidance. I believe that the Father needs to give love. Amen? Yes. How many of you believe that the Father needs to be involved yes. in the, you know, in the family unit? It makes a tremendous difference. Can we say amen? amen. But I'm telling you what, well, I don't have one. Well, I'm here to tell you you do have one. You know, he is, you know, a wonderful father. Can we say amen, amen? amen. That you're able to call upon his name. That he knows when you need discipline. Amen. Can you say amen? How many of you know you need your little tail spank sometime? And he knows how to do it. And he's not abusive. Can we say amen? amen. And he knows how to guide us. How many of you know he knows how to guide us and direct us, you know, in the paths that we need to go? He's a wonderful counselor. Can we say amen? amen? But see, the things that we receive from this Jesus is, is far beyond our understanding. Yes. And the greatest thing is that we are able to not be afraid of death. That we're not afraid to die. You know, um, as I said many times, you know, Ron says, well, I'm not afraid of death. It's just how and what I got to go through to get there. You know, but yet we don't have to be afraid. That's right. Everything here, this, this old body is temporary, right? Everything is temporary. It's just a shell. But Jesus came that we may have life and eternal life. How many of you are looking forward to the glorified body? Yes. How many of you are looking forward to a place called heaven? How many of you are glad that we're able to go pass from death to life? How many of you know that we don't have to be afraid or fearful anymore? You know, and when those that we love know Jesus, amen, we can rejoice. Why? Because they've run their race, they've finished their course, and we can have that hope for all eternity. How many of you are glad that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and you don't have to fear death? I'm going to ask the praise team to come back up here at this time. And we just want to end, we just want to end this service, you know, with uh, praise and glory and honor to him. I'm going to come, I'm going to ask y'all, okay, what are we singing? They're probably asking. I want to sing this song. Oh, let's what? Come and adore him. Can we do that? So we're going to pray that. And if you're here this morning, and I don't know what you're going through. But God knows what you're going through. And we want to encourage you. And we want to pray for you. And as we sing this song, Oh, Come, Let Us Adore Him, I want us all to sit, stand. Can we all just stand right now? And to be able to say, God, I'm glad you're my father and you know what I need. How many of you have been sometimes you're caught in a situation and you need wisdom? You need direction. You need God. How many of you believe that he is able? He is able. So I just pray for the spirit of God to touch you and to minister to you in a special way. Maybe you're where you're at and you're just, you know, it's just yuck season. I've heard that sometimes people go through those yuck seasons. And I'm going to pray that God will just touch you and just minister to you. What a blessing to be able to see the children. And I don't know about you, but they bring tears to my heart. Amen. You know, the, the innocence, the excitement. You know, I know we have a lot of parents here. They have young children. And boy, they, they I tell you what, many of them, they don't have a care in the world, right? You know, and, and I just pray that God would help us to be like them in a way. Not childish, but to have that type of faith. That they do. How many of you know that they know love when they see love? How many of you know that they know love? Yes. You know, I see little Emma up here and Pam was up there and, you know, and there Katie is up there. You know, and, and, and she's okay. Why? Because she knows there's safety right there. But I want to tell you what. Maybe that's what you did. But I'm telling you, you got a wonderful father that is able to touch you and minister to you and help you. You know, during these times, listen, don't be ashamed many times when you go through those seasons. We all go through those seasons, but we want to continue to just say, God, touch hearts and lives. We need to pray for one another. Can we say amen? amen. You know, 
And so can we, as we pray, as we, uh, you know, as I pray, you know, I want to pray for you. And let's pray for one another. But as we begin to sing, I just want you to come. And if you just want to worship him, if you want to praise him, maybe you got a spirit of heaviness. And just come and say, God, here I am. I, I just, I just want to worship you and allow the Holy Spirit to do what needs to be done. Father, this morning, we're just so thankful. God, that we're able to be here together as your children. And God, you see, Lord, the hearts and the lives that are here today. God, we're just so grateful for the children and those that are ministering to the children. God, we continue to pray for them, that you would strengthen them and encourage them. But God, you see those that are here today, Lord God, and you see those that may have a heavy heart or God, they got a burden. And Lord, they can't seem to get rid of it. I'm just going to pray right now that it will go in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you would touch them and minister to them. Lord, as we worship you while we sing this song, I pray for the Holy Spirit to fall upon hearts and lives in a special way. God, do what only you can do, Lord. We speak life. We speak joy. We speak peace in the name of Jesus. Minister, Lord God, to your people. Minister, God. Lord, like only you can do, and we love you today, and in Jesus' name, amen, and amen, and amen. Can we sing this together? <laughs>